Hello everyone, Celtic Fairy Tarot back with another pick a card reading and today we're going to be getting messages from your spirit team. What do you need to know right now? We have pile one. We have pile two. And we have pile three. Take your time, vibe out which pile is calling to you and the timestamps down below. Can't wait to get into it. Hello, pile one. You have chosen photo number one. And the first thing that I'm picking up in your energy is mental exhaustion, overanalyzing. Um, there is a need to organize your thoughts here. What I'm hearing from your spirit team is to make a list, a list of the things that you are worrying about and separate them into two. Um, one side is going to be the things that are in your control, the things that you can physically, emotionally, and mentally control right now. And the other side is going to be things that you cannot control. And we all know that when it comes to things we can't control, we have no say-so in the shift or the change. So this is really going to help you release those blockages or um, the over-cycling, over-analyzing. It's going to help your mind understand that there's nothing you can do about it. And it's going to help you release those patterns. And when it comes to the side that you can control, it's time to take action, even if it's slowly you know that phrase if you can't run walk if you can't walk crawl um it's kind of the same thing you your spirit team is saying once we get going and once we start taking action um this is going to alleviate the mental as well as well as the emotional i feel like some of you could be afraid to begin um this list or to take action in one way or another because you're afraid of the outcome um but what your spirit team is saying is taking action and failing is far better than living in this limbo that you've been living in right and even when we fail we can try again we can try try again um failure is not permanent at all um it all depends on our willpower right so there's a need to get going is what i'm hearing we're gonna pick an oracle card here to get some more advice Yeah, I'm hearing cast out to the wind. Have confidence. It's time to get going. And I do believe that that list is the first step to really help you organize where to start. Okay. It's going to do amazing things for clearing out your energy, clearing out the mental. All right. Spirit team of pile one. What does pile one need to know right now, please? We have follow the leader. And I really feel like, again, this is you, this taking action is you being your own leader. Um, you really stepping up and saying, okay, this list needs to get done or this needs to get done. And I am going to be in control of what I can be in control of. All right, we're going to read this directly out of the book. It is number 40. Every life is a teaching tool for others. Your authenticity and honesty are an example to those around you. You're being called to lead others by example. Your wisdom has been earned as a result of your bravery in the adventure of your life. The experiences of battles won and lost places discovered, tears shed, and joy revealed have placed you in a unique position to be of service to others. Your suffering has been crystallized into a talisman of wisdom. Now you must share it. 
By being fully authentic, you lead others into the light. And again, I feel like some of you could be triggered by helping others in this moment. And it's not about going out of your way to help others. It's not about even lifting a finger to help others. It's about helping others through helping yourself, helping others through leading by example. Um, yeah. All right. You'll be required to divulge some things about your past so that you may help someone else. Lead with love. There is another message here as well. Look to those whose great character and accomplishments you admire. Emulate the leaders you respect. Emulate the leaders you respect. You will then in turn have more to offer. And I think the, again, the in turn you'll have more to offer is for yourself. This is really going to help inspire you. Um, and again, I picked the photo for pile one specifically because I feel like this course of action or this next step is really going to help cleanse your energy in a very powerful way and cleanse the mental specifically of shame and guilt. Okay, this could be shame and guilt. Um, for something we've done to someone else, or this could be shame and guilt for things we've done to ourselves. Um, there's a need, I'm hearing, prove it to ourselves. Prove it to ourselves is what I'm hearing. Your higher self is here. <laughs> Your higher self is here and they're saying, prove it. <laughs> and you don't have to prove it to anyone but ourselves, okay? All right, let's get some more information here. Yeah, I'm hearing the student becomes the teacher. Okay. Spirit team of pile one. What does pile one need to know right now, please? What does pile one need to know right now, please? Mm, I'm going to listen for a moment because I, I hear static, but I feel like I feel like there's something coming through. Hold on one moment. I'm hearing the phrase birds of a feather flock together. Um, birds of a feather flock together. Okay, so there may, may be a need to separate yourself from the collective that you're currently surrounded by, and this doesn't mean physically. I feel like this has to do with the opinions of others or um, the observation of others. I feel like you've outgrown a lot of the people around you. So in order to step into this path, in order to um begin this journey it has to be a solo journey and again not physically solo right but there has to be an individuality when it comes to the way you're thinking when it comes to um how you are perceiving things yeah i'm hearing check in with yourself first it's okay to ask others for their opinion it's perfectly valid to ask others what they think um but there needs to be an individualized processing after the fact or before the fact whichever you prefer um but these conclusions you need to come to on your own is what i'm hearing spirit team of pile one what does pile one need to know right now please yeah i'm, I'm seeing the rabbit oh the six of swords look at that adventure um you're 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 going somewhere <laughs> whether it's energetically leveling up whether it's a, a physical move whatever it is you're you're about to embark on an adventure and i'm seeing the rabbit from alice in wonderland he's saying i'm late i'm late for a very important date i'm late i'm late um so there could be again this like frozen energy where there's so much to do you're not sure where to start start with that list pile one spirit team of pile one what does pile one need to know right now please and i'm also hearing you haven't missed the train you have not missed the train i don't know what that means <laughs> but i was hearing like the chugga 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 and 
the choo-choo and you haven't missed it. I heard specifically, you have not missed the train. One more, please. Ooh, thank you. We have the page of swords. Yeah, this has to be an, like a you journey. Um, you know how Frodo goes on his journey and he has Sam? Um, he has Sam to ask for advice. He has Sam to bounce things off of, but he also has his very individual journey at the same time. Whenever he puts the ring on or whatever he's experiencing in regards to the ring, whether it's flashbacks, whether it's visions, whether it's processing what's going on, he has to do it internally. So this is a, a very internal, um, individual transition or trip that you are on. Spirit team of pile one. What does pile one need to know right now, please? Ooh, thank you. We have the nine of cups. Yeah, I feel like you have many, many goals. You're just not sure where to start. Many goals. Yeah. What is that phrase that was on the card the other day? He he who moves mountains starts by moving small stones. Um, if you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. But you have to start pile one. That's what I'm hearing. Can we clarify the six of swords, please? Thank you. Wow, we have the seven of pentacles. And we can see here he's kind of sitting here up on this tree and relaxing. You could be in a very daydreamy state or you could have been in a very daydreamy state for quite some time where you're visualizing, you're manifesting, but there needs to be action put here. Yeah, maybe the pause or the hesitation is a lack of belief in yourself that you can get it done. Uh, maybe the pause and hesitation is in the fact that this is a solo mission. Whatever that means to you, it's time to begin. Yeah, I'm hearing it's time to begin. The fruit is ready to pick. <laughs> the fruit is ready to pick. Can we have the page of swords, please? Oops. Wow. <laughs> All right. We have the nine of swords under the page of swords. Yeah, if you're feeling stuck. You're feeling trapped. You're feeling like um, overwhelmed, overwhelmed organize organize those thoughts pile one the seven of cups under the nine of cups yes again both of these cards are very daydreamy i feel like you know exactly what you want now go after it pile one go after it we have the eight of cups yeah so some of you could realize that going after your dreams is going to cause you to walk away from something or somewhere or some kind of energy you may not be ready um or you may not have been ready to walk away from this. Can we clarify the Eight of Cups, please? Maybe th some of you are thinking about leaving a long-term job. Maybe some of you are thinking about switching your major after already having gone so far. Maybe some of you are thinking about walking away from a relationship, a friend group, a family unit, whatever it is. It's overwhelming you. Mm. The unorganized or the clutter in the mind is overwhelming the emotional being. It's putting the body in somewhat of a freeze response. Yeah. Can we clarify the Eight of Cups, please? Thank you. Oh, the High Priestess. We have some fall on the floor, but we're not going to take these. Oh, we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Cups, but we're not going to take these. Those could mean something for someone. The High Priestess under the Eight of Cups tells me with the High Priestess talking about the subconscious mind. Again, this is walking away from something you're very familiar with or very used to. And for some of you, it could even be walking away from the old version of you. Um, you know that phrase, in order to grow, in order to um, move on in our life uh, to a different timeline, to a different version of ourselves, we have to kill off the old version of ourselves, um, especially when the old version of ourselves is prone to toxicity or prone to shadow or prone to self-sabotage. Mm. This is a very powerful 
transition. Some of you could have just recently visited maybe an energy worker. Um, I don't know. I, I think also for some of you, what could have triggered this is you're just not happy anymore where you're at. You're just not happy with what's surrounding you. You're just not happy. You don't feel fulfilled. That's the better way to put it. You do not feel fulfilled. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm hearing again. Everything can be ours if we want it. We just have to go after it. Okay. All right, pile one. I'm going to leave that here. I wish you the best of luck on your journey. And until next time, bye. Hello, pile two. You have chosen photo number two. And I feel powerfully that your throat chakra is blocked, pile two. It feels like there's a watermelon in my throat. And it it is, you know... It's time to get it out. Um, I feel like you've been silenced a lot of your life. I feel like you haven't been able to speak your truth. And what your spirit team is saying is it's time now to tell our story. Whether you are going to a therapist and you're telling this therapist things you feel you can't say to other people, um, whether you're writing a letter to your inner child or a letter to your higher self or a letter to an ex or a letter to a family member or a letter to... A toxic friend you had to walk away from. Whoever this is about or whoever has silenced you has created this agitation within your body because your body wants to speak its truth. Your mind wants to speak its truth. You could be ruminating about this, constantly looking at pick a cards about this. It's time to tell your story, pile two, in one way or another. Some of you could even write a book okay or poetry or something like that okay let's get more information we're gonna start with an oracle card today yeah i feel like there's been some kind of injustice um, or some kind of oppression and your body and your mind are not going to feel better until you speak about it. Okay. Or even just write it out. All right. Spirit team of pile two. What does pile two need to hear right now, please? We have dry desert. All right. And we're going to read this directly out of the book for you. Number 31. Dig deep for inspiration and truth. Now is the time to become resilient and adaptable. Is your life presenting you with opportunities that seem to yield nothing? Have your ideas dried up? I feel like this is because all of your focus is on this injustice. That's what I feel. All of your focus is on this injustice. And in order to keep moving forward, in order to find your inspiration again, in order to find yourself again, in order to find peace again, your throat chakra has to be your main focus. Does it feel like you are on an endless journey through a dry, hot, lifeless desert? This card reminds you that there are times when you're meant to become resilient as you journey through harsher circumstances. You're being required to conserve your energy until after consistent effort, you reach the oasis you're searching for. Consider the creatures that live in these conditions. They have adapted to thrive in spite of the outer environment. Yeah, I'm hearing that some of you feel as though you can't move forward until you get whoever this is or whoever these people are to understand your perspective. And that's simply not the truth. These people can go on being clueless and you can still move forward. Okay. It's about you. Um, it's about clearing out your space, your throat chakra, speaking your truth. And again, it doesn't matter who hears it right? It doesn't matter if anybody hears it. Just being able to get it out will help you process that you cannot control these other people. You cannot control whether or not their mind is going to delulu themselves, right? We can't control that. And, and to be perfectly honest, if we keep on this path, 
we're going to go insane. We are going to go insane. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. If you are going to speak your truth to these people um, for the first time and they don't listen, or even if you're going to speak your truth to these people for the millionth time and they don't listen, let that click within you that you don't owe them an explanation. You don't owe them an apology for walking away. You don't owe them anything. A lot of times, if you've ever heard of Dharma, Dharma, Darvo, <laughs> maybe Dharma has a message for you as well. Um, but Darvo, have you ever heard of Darvo? Sometimes people just don't want to hear you. It doesn't mean they don't get it. Okay. It means they don't want to get it. Do not waste your energy on people like that pile too. All right. In a desert, water, essential for life, can be found deep underground. Go deep within yourself now. Find your truth there. Let spirit sustain you while you relocate the real source. Whatever it is you're asking about will not be found in the conditions you're in until you move past the surface of things and choose to do the real work and discover the answers deep within you. A lot of you could have inner children that have never been heard. You could have had a lot of experiences in life where you went unheard and you went unseen. And that is what is causing this kind of desperation to get these people to understand you. You don't need these people to understand you. You don't need these people pile two. If they are going to cause havoc in your mental health, in your physical body, do you really want them around is what I'm hearing. This may not seem like the most productive time, but looks are deceiving. This is the most important place to find what's truly right for you. Yeah, speak your truth, tell your story, pile two. You'll feel better, I promise, okay? All right, let's get more information. I feel like you'll feel better and you'll also feel more in control because um, right now I feel like you're giving your power away to these people. Your power is too precious to give away to people who delulu themselves. Okay, big message. Yeah, I'm hearing and that doesn't mean that you're a clown. It means the people who are deluding themselves are the clowns. OK, let them go be clowns. You have nothing to prove to them. All right. Spirit team of pile two. What does pile two need to know right now, please? Mm, I'm hearing. Okay, for some of you that cannot get this advice from your father, I'm going to step into that position with my masculine energy right now. And I am going to tell you that you are worth more than this. Okay. You are worth more than this. You are worth more than the energy you are, are giving these people. You are worth more than that. They, they know that you're worth more than that. They're just hoping you can't see it. Okay. See it. I see it. Take your power back pile two. Take your power back, take your dignity back and run. All right. Spirit team of pile two. What does pile two need to know right now, please? Wow. <laughs> okay. We have the six of swords. We have the queen of pentacles. And one more, please. What does pile two need to know right now? Yeah, I'm hearing your spirit team say we just want them. We just want them to see their worth. We want them to see their worth. The Knight of Cups. We want them to be giving themselves the love they've been giving these people. 
we want them to we want them to see that everything they need is within them. They don't need whatever these people can offer. They don't need the bare minimum love that these people have to offer. The shallow love, the hollow love. Like I'm here, I'm seeing someone knock on a wall and I'm just hearing the, the like the shallowness of what's behind the wall. You're worth more than that, pile two. Please clarify it, the six of swords. Oh, thank you. We have the page of pentacles. Mm. Yeah, this this journey, you know, pile one was going on a journey too, but I feel like this is a very different journey. Um, I feel like this is a journey of finding your stability when it comes to what you allow into your life, holding your boundaries more, building your boundaries. Like I'm seeing someone building a foundation. I'm hearing um, Pink Floyd. I have seen the writing on the wall. Yeah, I have seen the writing on the wall. I feel like a lot of you don't even care to be around whoever this is anymore. Your physical body is rejecting them. But I feel like, again, your inner child really needs them to understand what they did to you or how they hurt you. And, and your spirit team is saying it's time to move on from that now. We gain nothing from this. If anything, we are exerting more energy doing this than we could be focusing on ourselves. The Queen of Pentacles, please. Yeah, like put that energy towards building your foundation, towards what you want to be doing. Maybe it's a career. Uh, maybe it's content creating. Maybe it's art. Whatever it is, put this energy towards that. Don't, don't put your energy towards this circus over there, okay? The Queen of Pentacles, please. The Nine of Pentacles. And can we clarify the Knight of Cups, please? I mean, you can put your focus towards wherever you want. <laughs> I'm not here to tell you what to do. This is just the advice coming through, okay? The Knight of Cups, please. Thank you. We have the Seven of Cups. Yeah, you have so much desire, so much passion and so much motivation and all of this passion and motivation is kind of like i'm seeing like a pipe leaking um but it's leaking pretty bad and it's all just going to people you ever heard the phrase that narcissists love whether you love them or they hate it or you hate them as long as you are giving them supply right and that's kind of the vibe here they're just going to take that energy and they're just going to use it to fuel their ego don't let them do that to you, pile two. You conserve that energy and you use it for this glow up that you are about to have, <laughs> okay? Um, I'm seeing a massive, 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 massive glow up. Mm -hmm. Let that be how you show them, okay? <laughs> On the back of the deck, we have the five of swords. Yeah, this is this could be like PTSD right? I'm feeling like this isn't one situation that happened or one betrayal that happened. I feel like these people were, were cruel. I feel like this involves cruelty and this is why it's been weighing on you. This is why um, it's been so difficult for you. But again, you can move on from this without the help of this circus, okay? Let the circus be the circus. You can move on from this and you don't need them. You don't need that closure to be able to move on from this. Let the closure be the decision that you make, okay? Don't don't let this closure be in their hands because I guarantee they probably don't even want you to walk away. They don't even want you to walk away. But this choice is yours, so tough shit for them, right? All right, pile two, I'm going to leave that here. I wish you the best of luck on your journey. And until next time, bye. Hello, pile three. You have chosen photo number three. And the first thing that happened tuning into your energy is Freya has stepped forward. Freya could be on your team. Um, you could work with Freya. But it feels like she has 
messages for you um, to share and deliver. So I didn't have much time uh, to tune into your energy before she stepped forward. So instead of pulling an oracle card for you today, like I did the other two piles, we're going to be pulling handwritten messages and these are going to be messages from Freya. Okay, that's how we're going to dive into this reading. I'm seeing a compass. I'm seeing a compass spinning. And it stops on north. All right. I am channeling Freya for the collective of Pile 3. What does Pile 3 need to know right now, please? Whoop, thank you. We have Let Our Dreams Begin. Messages from Freya for Pile 3, please. Running from the darkness within does not negate its existence. Yeah, so you guys could be running from very powerful emotions. I'm feeling grief specifically. Running away from grief, hesitating to feel grief, to feel sadness. I feel like your, your heart chakra, your heart chakra is closed off, Pile 3. Your heart chakra is closed off. You're having a hard time feeling some some profound emotions here messages from freya to the collective of pile three please it's time now come on we can do this messages from freya to pile three please thank you We have, you never skip to the back of the book to read the end of a good story before it even begins. Let the story flow. Yes, yeah, some of you are viewing this hesitation and releasing emotions as control. Um, you know, I have control of this situation. I'm not going to lose control. I'm hearing that song, Control. I don't want to lose control. It's Zoe something, I think, that sings it. Sometimes I still feel it coming, even though... It's not, I don't want to lose control. Mm. The best part about not knowing exactly who you are is that we get to spend time finding out who we are. Yeah, Freya is saying um, on this idea of controlling your emotions in this way, um, it's not control. It's being a prisoner to our own cage so to speak, um, being a prisoner to our own wall. Being in control of your emotions looks like allowing yourself to feel them without allowing them to overcome you, right? So in order to effectively be able to control ourselves or effectively be able to not lose control, we need to be able to somewhat feel our emotions. We can't have them closed off because that's not control. That's becoming a prisoner, right? And that's kind of allowing our mind to control us rather than allowing our mind, body, and soul to operate in the way that it needs to. There's fear here. Messages, please, from Freya to Pile 3. Wow, thank you. Okay, I am currently walking side by side with you. I am here with you. She's showing me somebody pleading. Somebody pleading to make pain go away, to make sorrow go away, to make grief go away. And she says, instead of making it go away, let me sit with you with this. Let me show you how to navigate this. We have keep going, trust yourself, don't give up on yourself, you deserve it. What happens when we close ourselves off um, from our heart space, from our emotions, is we become cold, we become distant, and we start to disconnect from ourselves. Um, we start to disconnect from our own intuition, right? Maybe it's not about what we can't do, 
focus on what we can do. So some of you could even be like, I don't, even if I wanted to feel these emotions, I don't know how to. Um, you could be like, I put the sad songs on, I try to cry, it won't come out. I try to sit with my grief, um, it won't come out. So there's a part of you that could feel like, I don't even know how to do this, even if I wanted to. And what Freya is saying with this, maybe it's not about what we can't do, focus on what we can do. Um, maybe it's more about in the moment and really analyzing the situation because i feel like for a lot of you you're blocking it out completely um you're like i don't want to think about this you could be distracting yourself she's saying it's as simple as stop distracting yourself allow yourself to sit in silence yeah i'm hearing sit in silence are these walls we've built helping or hindering us are we safe or are we caged in yeah Slow down. There is no rush. We have who or what is your higher power. Yeah, again, that feeling lost. Like your higher power could be um, your higher self. It could be a deity. It could be God. It could be, um, you know, whatever you want your higher power to be whatever inspires you spiritually, right? And it could be Gaia. It could be nature whatever inspires you spiritually but i feel like you have to be able to connect um you have to be able to sit with yourself you have to be able to meditate with whatever your higher power is and ask for guidance ask for assistance um instead of trying to go through this alone okay i feel like there are a lot of you that are like yeah right sit in silence um, I don't want to. It's scary. You don't have to sit in silence alone is what she's saying. Nobody knows how to say goodbye. Yeah, this is about grief, I feel, and sadness and heartbreak. We have follow the moon. Yeah, the moon is all about the feminine energy. The sun is the masculine. The moon is the feminine. Um, and I feel like a lot of you could have been raised um, to feel as though emotions made you weak. And this is why it's difficult for you to access them. They've been shut down for quite some time, for quite some time. But it's almost like building up and building up and building up. Like I'm seeing, you know, that foam, like spray foam. Um, it's like coming out the ears now, right? Like this emotion that's been pent up, this emotion is really, really trying to come out here. In order to grow, we have to sacrifice our old coping mechanisms. Yeah, stop distracting yourself, pile three. What are you learning about us through this situation? Yeah, some of you, some of you are just ask, like accessing your emotional being for the first time. Like not that you don't love and not that you don't experience happiness and things like that. But I feel like you, Pile 3, could have a very awkward way of showing sadness or a very awkward way of showing grief and defeat and things like that. And you are just now, um, just now processing this. Something happened where you can't ignore these emotions anymore. Something happened where even now when you're distracting yourself, it still comes through. Life is not meant to be a never-ending rom-com. Focus on ourselves. Yeah, what's meant to be will be pile three. Um, <laughs> what's meant to be will be pile three. It's important to know that you come first. This purging is, is really important to happen for you. And there are spirits working behind the scenes to help you through this process. You are going to open up that heart chakra and you are going to find out pile three that you are more than you think you are, okay? Everyone can change their toxic ways. Not everyone is willing to, but everyone has the ability to. I saved us, I love you, stay hopeful. And I feel like this is your higher self. This is not Freya. <laughs> this is your higher self saying, we did it, we did it. Eventually, we did it. I can't reach you when you are emotionally shut down. I know it's painful, but you need to tune into your emotions. Yeah, that's that's the biggest message here. All right, we're going to take these out of the way and we're going to pull some tarot. Mm. 
when it comes to processing and when it comes to our crown chakra, silence is the key. There are frequencies that are designated for each of our chakras and the crown chakra is silence. Have you ever noticed that when you're sitting there and there's no stimuli and there's nothing going on, um, when we are hiding from something within ourselves or when we are um, trying to hide from our thought processes and processing something painful, our first reaction in moments of silence is grab the phone, uh, turn the TV on, grab a book, whatever it is that you, or leave the house, go find something to do, whatever it is you distract yourself with, this is how you are keeping distance from aligning all parts of yourself, the mind, body, and soul, okay? Let's get more information. Yeah, I'm hearing just lay there in silence and let your mind do what it needs to do even if things are starting to surface that make you uncomfortable um this is going to stimulate the emotional being this is going to stimulate the heart chakra kind of like i'm seeing when you go to the hospital and they have to revive you and they give you those shocks type of thing um it's going to be a lot like that All right, spirit team of pile three. What does pile three need to know right now, please? <laughs> I'm hearing we figured out what they need to know right now. Now let's pull some advice. What is some advice, please, for pile three? What is some advice for pile three moving forward, please? We have the king of pentacles yeah the king of pentacles is fulfilled and you're not going to be able to access a, a place of fulfillment until you can align with yourself until you can open up all aspects of yourself until you can work through this blockage okay what is some advice for pile three moving forward please we have judgment when you pass in ancient Egypt, you are met with the scales and your heart is on this scale. And in order to move into your reincarnation or into wherever it is you're going to go, your heart has to be as light as a feather. They have to be kind of uh, next to each other. <laughs> um, your heart cannot be um, heavier than a feather in order to pass through the gates. And I think, again, it's really a, a testament to how heavy your heart is right now. And spirit, your spirit team specifically, wants to lighten your load. They want to help you release this from your heart space. One more, please. We have the Page of Swords. Yeah, get out of your head. Get out of your head, pile three. Well, kind of. Uh, <laughs> how do I say this? Get into your head and get into your body, but don't cycle. Don't ruminate. Allow what needs to flow to flow when it comes to your mind, when it comes to your heart. Everything will align as it needs to. There is no control you have to have over this. Two of swords on the back of the deck. Yeah, you're like, I don't know how to do that. Just let it flow. Just sit in silence and let it flow. Um... You could randomly start crying. You could randomly have uh, an embarrassing memory that you don't want to relive or a thought process that is painful for you. Let it flow, pile three, okay? For some of you, if you're feeling as though you won't be safe in this situation, do it with a therapist, okay? Do it with a counselor. All right, I am going to leave that here, pile three. I wish you the best of luck on your journey. And until next time, Bye.